2019 market prediction, buy bonds and chill. In 2018, the Fed began reducing $30 billion a month of liquidity to global markets, and every asset class in the world entered into a bear market by the end of 2018. If we look at this chart showing the central banks and their moves, we're at the very beginning of a planned sell-off in bonds worldwide. And starting in January, both the ECB and the Fed are together reducing liquidity in global markets. So going into 2019, things are set to get much worse because now two central banks are selling at the same time, the ECB and the Fed. And they've only sold about $360 billion of potentially $2 trillion worth of bonds so far. Consider the following smorgasbord of risks overhanging equities markets. Central banks are removing $30 billion a month of liquidity from markets in 2019 and set to grow towards $50 billion. U.S.-China trade war has made zero progress since the three-day meeting. Mueller investigations still underway with daily headlines, record-breaking trillion-dollar government spending, further expanding debt, the longest U.S. government shutdown in history, now at 24 days. This was written yesterday. If you want to get our alerts real-time, click in the left-hand corner of this video. These are delayed by one day, so it's now up to 25 days. Official announcement in China of slowing growth expectations. The Brexit deal is in complete chaos, freezing European economies. And meanwhile, the Yellow Vest movement is planning a bank run and growing in size. There's a good chance the equity markets puke their brains out again at any time in 2019. And my expectation for the safest play right now is to hold a large TLT 20-year plus treasury position. My expectation is that the TLTs could move back towards the 140 plus mark in 2019 as equity markets continue to get more and more scared about global growth slowing and decelerating, which would put a huge damper on the equities market and send a flood of money into the TLT, pushing the yield lower and the TLT up. However, this is not a move that will last forever. Right now, my portfolio has a 80% TLT position, a 10% GLD gold position, a 5% cryptocurrency position. And actually, today's alert changed that. We doubled down on cryptocurrency. Uh, plus, we have a 1% long QQQ call option in case there is a surprise announcement from China and the U.S. To generate retirement income, our portfolio is writing covered calls against the TLT position. Now, we'd much rather write covered calls against equities as the return is two to three times higher. However, right now, I'm expecting the VIX to collapse lower, equities to float or stay flat until we get the next major sell-off in equities, at which case we do want to rotate out of the TLT and back into equities. So to date, our income platform is up 1.15% while the S&P 500 is down 3.7% in the first 30 days of launching. And we did this by rotating out of bonds when they're at a high, buying equities when they're at a low, and then selling covered calls in between. So unless we start seeing major progress in the U.S.-China talks, I expect to be holding this TLT position for the next several months before taking profits and either rotating into an equity position or a heavier gold position. The gold safe haven may not break out until things get very nasty in the world economy. If we look at the next big run or the most recent run in gold, it was not during the 2008 financial crisis, but right after. And we saw it rip from $65 up to a high of 180. So if we're playing this correctly and the TLT rises, then the 
equities crash, we will rebalance into a heavy equity gold position, uh, presumably at much lower prices than we currently have in equities. And it would appear that gold may be at a pretty strong support level currently. So in the long run, Portfolio Builder's income platform would greatly prefer to own equities as they do yield a 200 to 300% greater return than the TLT does. But until the Fed is back on our side and the U.S. and Chinese are not in the midst of a trade war, I'll take the safe weekly paycheck over the risky one and just wait to see what happens. And so the big question is, how far will central banks let markets go before QE4? Will we see a market crash in 2019, make it down to the 210 on the SPY potentially, and then have a big bailout? Or will we see a much larger collapse and potentially get back down to 2010 or 2011 levels on the S&P 500? As soon as the VIX index gets a little lower, look out for our next new trade alert, which will be stock crash insurance, shorting ETFs like the QQQ, American Tech Stock ETF. And so here's a look at volatility. Most likely volatility will continue to be dampered, most likely down into the 1250 to 15 range, which will be our signal to get ready to put out some short positions on overvalued ETFs that we think may collapse in the upcoming 2019-2020. The QQQ's largest position is in Apple, one of the companies most hurt by the U.S.-China trade war conflicts. But there are some other short opportunities not covered in this video that will be released when our official trade alert comes out. Just how far might the QQQ crash in the next crisis. Certainly to the 100 to 110 range is possible, but could it push down to 2012 levels? This is the plan until something dramatically changes. Look for a new update tomorrow and thank you for your time. Click on the left hand corner of this video to start your free 30-day trial to Portfolio Builder.